Hey everybody, I wanted to take a minute and just talk about this idea of arthritis. And I'm gonna blend a couple different ideas here because we see a ton of patients here that have been diagnosed with some type of arthritic change. And I wanna just clarify a few things and hopefully give you a new perspective on this. So a lot of patients that we see if they're over the age of 45 or 50, um, if they're here for back issues or hip issues or knee issues or whatever it is, often it comes along with some diagnosis of arthritis. So what does that actually mean? Well, anything that ends in itis means that it's inflamed, okay? Now, when we see joint changes on an x-ray, we call them degenerative changes. And if we can combine those two things, if we see degenerative change on an x-ray and the patient's got a lot of uh, swelling or inability to move or a lot of pain in a joint, we would call that osteoarthritis. Now, this isn't something that's binary. What I mean by that is we really have, we have to think about this as a continuum. So instead of thinking about I have arthritis or you don't, we want to think about it like maybe you do have some type of joint change that's going on there, but is that going to really prevent something that you want to do in two years, five years, 10 years, or 15 years? That's how I think about it. Now in some cases it will, because if we stop moving and we stop exercising, we stop doing things then that joint will continue to wear down even faster. So often in the movement world, we think of this motion is lotion because when we get a joint moving through a range of motion, that increases the blood flow, and that blood flow helps bring oxygen and other nutrients to joints, and that can actually slow down the eventual wear and tear process. So we don't wanna think of this as a life sentence. Often we get patients in and they said, well, you know, my doctor or the surgeon said I have arthritis and there's nothing I can do, we're just gonna wait until it gets really, really bad. Well, that's not a great solution. So what we wanna talk about are things that you can do. So I always think like that, like what can you do? Well, it hurts if I walk for more than 20 minutes. Okay, well then let's back it off a little bit. Or it hurts when I walk no matter what. Okay, let's try a bike, let's try a pool, let's try something else. Because if we're just thinking black and white, like I can't do this because it hurts, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna decondition and that's gonna make everything in the body worse. So I often think of this mobility work as something that we tie into, well, what do you want that joint to be able to do in the future? And if you want your joints to be healthy in the future, we have to work on them right now. So we have to have this forward thinking that says, what do we wanna be able to do in 10, 15 or 20 years and at the same time, not give up on your daily activities. So you wanna keep pushing yourself, but not to the point that you, know, you get flare-ups or increases pain. Often what we have to do is try different things, try something new, try a different way. Okay, you can't do this exercise, maybe there's a regression that you can do, something that's a little less complicated. So think of it in that terms, okay? Think of it on a continuum. And don't think of it like black and white, like I either have something or I don't. Just because you have some changes on x-ray, it doesn't mean you're gonna have a lifelong sentence of disability. Okay, so give that some thought. Keep moving, keep doing your work, because those simple things, those baby steps that you do over and over and over, are gonna create the health that you want in the future.